Are you as curious as I am to see how this year boom tube sounds coming out of a slant six? Well, stay tuned to find out. All right, today we're gonna to work on making the exhaust system here. As you see, this is the original one half inch pipe, and this is the new stainless pipe we're gonna be using. It's two and a half inch, just because uh, the boom tube has a two and a half inch inlet, so it just makes sense instead of making a transition piece from the one and a half to the two and a half. So basically what we're gonna do is just cut this flange off here, weld it onto there, and then we don't have a bender or anything, so we're just gonna kinda of use what we got here. These are like two different pieces. Just some leftover parts that we have from when we did the exhaust system on the GTO. Alright, so right here behind me, that's going to be the new exhaust, the two and a half inch. I'm going to cut this flange off here. You can see it left a little piece on it. I'll just weld it on over the new piece. Alright, right now I got that piece up on the flange there. And then we got the second piece right here. We're working on the transition to the back. But this is basically going to be the bend from the first piece here to the second piece. Just threw some tacks on the flange piece here, um, and then I'm gonna work on tacking the second piece up. But actually welding the uh, steel to the cast iron wasn't that bad. This is what the first two pieces will look like outside the car. Tack welds on this flange here popped off, so I just gotta re-weld that back on. But then it'll bend down and then bend kind of back up That'll be level with the floor. Obviously, that will be like tilted that way. So that's level with the floor, and then it's gonna go right in between the trans and then part of the front clip. All right, starting over here, cut the flange back off, took these, these pieces apart. Um, because this piece right here was hitting the side of the block slash oil pan right down there. And then you couldn't uh, get the bolt tightened on all the way on the flange, so it'd sit on there crooked. And that's why the tack welds popped off, because the pipe was pushing against the block while the flange was still on the manifold there. Uh, we tried hammering and heating it up. That didn't work at all, so we started, decided to just start over. Right there you can see just up by those bolts on the oil pan is where the tube is hitting the oil pan slash the block. So I just mocked it up there to show you guys. And I think I have to cut a little off the left side right there. So it'll be angled more like that and then be able to clear it. As you can see, I have fixed my issue. There's now a gap, it's hard to tell on camera, but it's about a half inch gap from the block to the pipe here. So I'm just gonna tack weld it in place and then we can finally start uh, making the rest of it. Right now, I got that tack welded piece onto the flange, bolted that back up, and then I started mocking up the second piece there. I want it to be as in line with the torsion bar as possible, so it looks straight. Um, you can see down here, doesn't hang down too low actually, which is pretty good. Originally I was gonna do oval piping, but it didn't make sense to go from circular to oval and then back to circular for the boom tube back there. So this just made more sense. So that'll be up like that once it's done. It only goes up a little, but it's more level that way. So I'm gonna tech weld that piece in next. Threw a couple tacks on the bottom piece there now down there and then I just had to throw one more on here and now it doesn't wiggle at all some of the other tacks weren't holding very well I guess so that's all sturdy I'm gonna start moving on to the back just finished up welding this pipe fully on and then the flange on not the best but you can grind them down and make them much better on the end of this pipe here, there was like one of these things where it's a little bigger so the old pipe can, or the new, next pipe can slide into it. So we just cut that off and we angled what the next pipe will be here. So that'll go on an angle and it'll angle it soon go directly under the little hump on the torsion bar cross member and it'll fit right under it. 
We just added a new piece right here that goes from the transition bend, tacked it onto there, and then it kind of goes, bends over there, and then it just goes right in between this little hump on the torsion bar cross member. And then right now it's angled out. We gotta make a little piece to go to the boom tube there. This needs to get lifted up like there, but we'll be good. So making progress, one last little piece to make and then we gotta hang the boom tube. This is the final exhaust piece without the boom tube. Everything is welded on. I had to cut a couple pieces on an angle, but that's that. As you know, we got all that exhaust welded in, bolted up on the manifold there. And then we just mocked up the boom tube. We gotta make an exhaust hanger for that tomorrow. Um, but we had to trim a little bit off that piece right there. But now, doo -doo, sits, it'll sit up a little, but it's like flush with the body and it's tucked in enough where you could see it, but it's like not sticking out where it just looks dumb. So I'm super happy with it. it looks weird on camera but once it's all welded in there and the hangers on it's tucked up it'll be real nice i'm starting to think that the uh idea for no muffler was not the best and i might be needing these for a while the next day today we're gonna work on making that last little bracket for the boom tube and then we're gonna try to fire this up now my dad's kind of skeptical to fire it up simply because we are just using the old radiator. Um, we don't have any radiator hoses and we don't have any coolant in the block. So, I mean, it's just gonna run hot and this is the second time firing it up, running it hot. Only reason we have this old radiator in here is for the trans lines down there. But I wanna convince some and I think we're gonna get it fired up. I really wanna see what that's gonna sound like with this and I'm super excited to hear it. This here is the mount we're gonna be using to mount the boom tube to the body here. So we're gonna put two bolts through that, drill two holes through that little flange right there. And then this piece right here will be welded to it, the boom tube, and it'll just go like that. It's got some rubber in it so it'll be able to flex. So yeah, it'll just kinda of sit in there, obviously farther back, and then we'll push the boom tube up like that to the body. So you can see how the bracket goes on there just gotta drill two holes in this piece on the frame right there and then it'll weld on to the boom tube right there put two nuts and bolts in there and we'll be good to go finished up drilling the holes in the frame piece here so the bracket actually just slide on just like that see it lines up there and there we go now it lines up it's gonna be interesting getting the uh the bolts through there we gotta fish it up through this hole right here maybe with a magnet that one will be easy. That one's gonna be interesting. And then instead of welding that on to that piece right there, we're just gonna get a clamp, clamp it on that way if I ever wanna reuse this. Um, it's not welded on and we don't have to destroy it. Just went and picked up battery here. One step closer to running. Uh, we didn't measure anything. It actually fit perfectly in the tray. So I was kinda lucky there. Just gotta Weld that back on. I feel like I've been saying that all day, but I've been busy doing some other stuff. So we're gonna get this thing running here soon, hopefully. We got the bracket mounted on there, fished the bolts through the bottom of the frame hole there, and it's good to go. Now we're gonna put the boom tube on and weld that tab onto it. We just had the bracket mocked up on the car and had the boom tube mocked up next to it. So it's just gonna go like that. And then I had to cut a little piece to fill in that gap right there like that. So I'm gonna weld that on and then we'll weld the whole thing on just like that. I got that piece welded onto the bracket there and now I'm just gonna weld it onto the boom tube here. You see when we had it mocked out, we had the marks out um, so we know exactly where to weld it. Bracket is fully welded on there. Not the best weld, but I am not the best welder. But that'll stay on pretty good as you can see. The back of this moves because we got the rubber in there, so that's the whole point of that. Got it welded all around, and now we're gonna solve for good, hopefully. Just hard mounted the boom tube. We got the bracket up there, you can see it's welded onto the top of it. Fish the bolts in through there, and then we got the clamp right there. Doesn't move at all, good to go.
we got. All right, folks. That's it. This thing runs with a freaking boom tube. It sounds so awesome. I love it. It's like a giant tractor. <laughs> it's so loud. It's way louder in person than it is on camera. All right, now I'm being sort of forced to add some form of a muffler to this. <laughs> it's so loud, it's crazy. I don't want to go deaf while driving it. Um, I'll probably get annoyed of it after about a week, everyone has told me. And my dad said he's not going on power tour without a muffler on this thing, so <laughs> it kind of limits my options. So I think next project for the exhaust here will be cutting out this middle section, adding most likely a glass pack, or maybe we're thinking get even fancy and add a magna flow to it, make it sound pretty cool. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. This was my second attempt at a YouTube video. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'm still figuring out this whole editing thing how to talk in front of the camera normally, but I think it's getting better. I'm getting used to it and more updates on this thing to come.